I didn't always read more than one book at a time. I used to dread reading and found it difficult to even get through a single book, especially when that book was assigned to me in school. Now, as an adult with a love for reading, I can't imagine another way of enjoying books. I can't imagine restricting myself or being faithful to one book at a time. I usually have about four books in rotation. One fiction, one fiction I've read before or of a different genre, one non-fiction, and one audiobook. Okay, without getting weird, here are my three reasons why I read more than one book at a time. Let's start. There is no time to read. Correction, there is no time to read literature, poetry, and other creative writing. There is no time to read for pleasure. But in order to achieve imaginative growth and find new perspectives, we need to read more than instructional documents and textbooks. How though? How can we incorporate stories into our lives after an exhausting day of reading everything else? There is a lot of wasted time in your day. Reading while commuting, in waiting rooms, or even during television commercials are fantastic ways to make use of potentially wasted time. And as Bruce Lee says, if you love life, don't waste time, for time is what makes up life. So if you love life and you want more lives to live, you got to read. As George R. R. Martin says, a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only one. If you can enjoy two or more television series, swapping between episodes, you can read two or more books. If you can go out and watch a movie and then come home and watch TV, why can't you do that with books? Carry a book with you wherever you go. That's an order. Sure, it might take up space in your backpack or purse, but when the opportunity arises, you'll be glad you have it. Have one book be your on-the-go book. Okay, so some books are light and you could carry around in your bag. Other books like Goblet of Fire, Infinite Jess, or It are tomes. Alternatively, the longer books can be your audiobooks or ebooks, and you can slowly chip away at them while there's a lull in your schedule. Our attention span has shrunken, but that doesn't mean we can't counter it. Audiobooks have found a place in my life. Sometimes music exhausts me and all I want is something to keep my mind off the monotony. When it comes to audiobooks, I find that nonfiction is the best format. I can simply consume the information as a mean of entertainment and it also leaves me hand free to jot down important ideas. Alternatively, I find it difficult to read nonfiction books as an ebook format because I can't easily flip back to previous pages, leave a post-it, and the act of swapping out the ebook to write notes on a notepad is just a lot of friction. There's always little breaks in your day where instead of scrolling through social media, you can be reading or listening to an audiobook. Take advantage of them. Reading more than one book helps you discover what you actually enjoy. When I wanted to get into the habit of reading, I found myself bored at times. Not that the book wasn't interesting, it was simply that I needed a different flavor. I'm hungry, but I want to eat something else. Books are much the same way. You may feel like reading still, but you might not feel like reading this book at this time. So don't just stop reading altogether. Put the book you're struggling with down for a moment and pick up another one. Cleanse the palate and return to it after. The key is to not lose momentum. It should always be a pleasure. Having different books on the go allows you to read different genres, formats, and authors through a period of time. Days, weeks, months, years. As you delve into different formats, you'll notice what you like and dislike too. I hope this video inspires you to explore and find new books that you enjoy. If you are interested in more thoughts on reading and writing, please subscribe to this channel. There is a new video every week. This is Elliot Chan. Thank you for watching.